More certificates of entitlement or COEs may be made available in the coming months. Transport Minister Louis Takiu says the Land Transport Authority is studying measures that may contribute to higher COE supply for the next six-month period from this August. Car buyers have been feeling the heat in recent months as COE prices have soared due to supply tightening. The latest bidding round alone saw COE prices reaching record levels. Prices for big cars went past the $90,000 mark, while smaller cars breached the $60,000 mark. But there may soon be some relief. The Transport Minister said he's asked the Land Transport Authority to study two measures. One is to possibly delay cutting the vehicle growth rate to 0.5% from the current 1.5% by August this year. I think if we proceed with the plan as we had envisaged earlier, it will put quite a significant squeeze on the vehicle quota numbers. While we recognise that 0.5% is indeed the target that we want to achieve, so they will study uh, very carefully whether we can exercise some flexibility in this regard. Another possibility is to defer the clawback of COEs, which has been underway since April 2010. The clawback is to counter an oversupply of COEs between 2008 and 2009. Well, industry players say that if the measures are implemented, the higher quota numbers will help to cool the COE market. But they do not expect the reduction in COE prices to be very significant. If this, uh, this uh, adjustment had been taken much earlier, uh, or rather this deferred uh, adjustment has been taken much earlier, then of course the numbers would have been quite significant. You know, we are almost at the last phase of that clawback. By, uh, on its own will not really significantly impact the total volume of COE available. Still, some potential car buyers hope the measures will be implemented. It's, the move is good that uh, enable more people to buy car, you know. It helps because uh, I think many people require the need of a car, when, especially when they have young children. Others felt boosting the COE supply would not be sustainable. Singapore is too small a country to have too many vehicles. Yeah. Improve our public transport. Make sure that it's, it's good quality. Yeah. LTA is expected to complete its study on the possible measures by the end of the month. Mr. Louis also says the government and train operators will spare no effort in making the rail system more reliable. Speaking at the groundbreaking ceremony for the Tuas West extension, Mr. Louis said this is a top priority. Construction to make it easier to commute to the Tuas area has begun. Four stations will be added to the east-west line starting from Jukun Station. They are Gal Circle, Tuas Crescent, Tuas West Road and Tuas Link. There will also be a 26-hectare depot. Well, the Tuas West extension is expected to benefit more than 100,000 commuters daily. The four stations will be located close to offices and factories to help reduce travelling time by up to 35 minutes for many commuters. Even as the rail network is being expanded, capacity will also be improved in the coming years. More trains are being procured. The Circle Line's capacity will be ramped up by 60%, with 24 more trains to be added progressively from 2015. This is eight more trains than previously announced. The Transport Minister noted the concerns over serious train disruptions in recent months. He said SMRT will put in place a more robust system to anticipate potential faults and vulnerabilities in the system. On a recently announced $900 million plan to upgrade and renew aging assets, Mr. Louis said two main components will contribute to the costs. One is replacing the sleepers of the track, while the other is upgrading of the signalling system. He said the Land Transport Authority and SMRT are in the process of making sure that each party will pay a fair share of the costs. Broadly speaking, I think uh, the formulation is that infrastructural works uh, come under the government, uh, replacement of the operating assets come under the operator, although even within that there is a uh, formula on how to share the cost. On whether the costs will eventually be passed on to commuters as higher fares, Mr. Lee said fares are determined by the fare adjustment formula, which is being reviewed. Mr. Lee said fares will not be adjusted this year while the review is underway. While still on MRT trains, SMRT is looking into making several improvements after its major service disruptions in December. This was revealed at the end of the third week of the Committee of Inquiry hearing. 
The December disruptions put the spotlight on the way SMRT handled the situations. Director of Train Operations Sharin Abdul Salam told the committee that there are several areas of improvement SMRT is working on. One is a new dedicated communications team of train service controllers. A specific person will be in charge of giving information to passengers from the operations control center. Another is a public announcement guide for train officers. It'll spell out how soon train officers should announce the disruptions and what they should say. Another area being looked into, act sooner in telling passengers to get off the train. Instead of the current standard operating procedure of 45 minutes, it should be 30 minutes. The train operator is also looking into making small improvements. On December 15th, some passengers were left in darkness and complained of poor ventilation. Mr. Sharin told the committee a sign telling passengers to use the emergency intercom button if they need to speak to the train officer will be installed. This will allow passengers to inform the officer if they notice the lights or ventilation have gone off. There were other suggestions raised by the committee earlier in the day. This includes installing a sensor on MRT trains to detect if collector shoes which pick up power from the third rail are damaged. SMRT Projects and Technology staff Ng Ping Ho told the committee it would be useful, but he raised concerns that this might overwhelm train operators if they have too many indicators to monitor.